Hi there everyone, this is Mario from M Studio and welcome to a new episode of Learning to Go. Today in the menu we have the best shortcuts for After Effects. How a professional After Effects artist works? Well, mostly with his keyboard. So, let's see which are the most important keyboard shortcuts to remember to get shit done faster. In the timeline, I and O will move your cursor at the beginning or at the end of the selected layer. B and N will shorten or stretch the area of your RAM preview in order with the cursor position. The letter P will show the position properties of a layer. As R will do the same for the rotation, S for the scale, T for the opacity, and A for the anchor point. If you add the Alt or Option key to these letters I have just mentioned, you will also add a keyframe at the cursor position to the corresponding property. Since you might have already keyframed a lot, here is another useful shortcut. U to show all the keyframes of a layer, you again to hide them. To move from a position to the following or the next keyframe, you can use J and K. <laughs> that is useful. If you apply an effect to a layer, you can show it by pressing E, and if you want to do the same with a mask, you can use the M key. Talking about masks, if you need the feather option, you just need to press F. When you work with masks and keyframes, sometimes those shapes and paths might be in your way, and that's why you can hide them with Ctrl or Command on Mac, Shift and H. On a US keyboard, the plus and minus sign will zoom in and out in your timeline. Ctrl or Command with plus and minus will do the same in your canvas. Talking about US keyboard's layouts, Alt and square brackets will trim your layer at the cursor position, from the beginning or from its end. If you like to do some editing in your timeline, Ctrl or Command Shift D will split your layer in two. If you sometimes work with audio, pressing L twice will show the waveform of your sound file, very useful to sync animations. Ctrl or Command K will show the properties of your composition. If you want to pre-compose one or more layers, you can select them and hit Ctrl or Command Shift C. If you need a new solid, you can press Ctrl or Command Y. And to show the properties windows of said solid, you can use Ctrl or Command Shift Y. While on the project panel, Ctrl or Command Alt G will show the properties of the selected item. Are we done? No. There's one more, the best one. You will send me flowers at home for revealing it. But, since I know that I still have your attention, let me tell you something before dropping the big one. If you want to follow my work, you can find me on Facebook and Twitter. If you are enjoying this tutorial, give me a thumb up. Right now, come on, do it! If you want to support my channel, you can pay me a beer or a coffee with PayPal. You will find a link in the description. And, alright, the last one as promised. How many times did you have to move your anchor point to the center of your object? And you did it manually, and it was boring. Well, rejoice. If you hold Ctrl or Command and you double click the pen tool in the toolbar, your anchor point will precisely move to the center of the layer. And you, did you know these shortcuts? What? Do you know even cooler ones? Well, speak up in the comment section, because this is it for today's episode of Learning to Go. Remember to subscribe to my channel to be the first to know when a new tutorial is out, and this is Mario from M Studio, and I think that if I'll see you again, it's probably gonna be next time. <laughs>